Hi guys, welcome back to Creative Tap. Now, in this video, we're going to be looking at the differences between HDMI and DVI connections. Now, you've probably all seen DVI and HDMI cables before. If you've got a games console, any audiovisual equipment, screen monitors, you've seen these before. Now, VGA is that little blue one. I'm not going to be talking about that one. We're going to jump straight into DVI cables. Now, with DVI cables, you've got three different types. You've got DVI-A, DVI-D, and DVI-I. Now, DVI-A is basically phased out now. It carries an analog signal, okay? And it was it was the first kind of DVI cable to come along, now getting phased out. Now, DVI-A only carried video signal at 1920 by 1080 um, as a resolution, okay? And let's move on to DVI-D, okay? DVI digital, um, which carries digital signals. Now, with DVI-D, you've got actually got two different types. You've got DVI-D single link and DVI-D dual link. The difference between these is DVI-D DVI dual link has an extra nine pins and can therefore carry, in a sense, more data. Now, the fact that it can carry more data, DVI-D single link and dual link, single link will carry, I've got the resolutions by here, um, 1920 by 1080 at 4.59 gigabits per second. Whereas a dual link with that those extra pins, uh, DVI-D, uh, will carry 2560 by 1536 resolution at 9.9 .9 gigabits per second. So DVI-D, a dual link, can carry a lot more data. And you've also got DVI-I. And DVI-I is DVI integrated. And that supports both analog and digital signals. Um, so it's, it's, it's more compatible again. And you've also, again, you've got single link and dual link. Now for DVI-I, again, I've got the resolutions in my little handy book for here. Um, so single link DVI-I, the integrated one, that's 1600, that can carry 16, a resolution of 1600 by 1200 at 4.95 gigabits per second. Whereas the dual link can carry 2048 by 1536 for the resolution at 9.9 .9 gigabits per second. So, that's a little bit of background on DVI, Digital Video Interface, what it stands for, forgot to mention that. So let's now look at HDMI. So we've got HDMI 1.4, and we've also got HDMI 2.0. Basically different versions, 2.0 obviously the more superior version, and so supports more, okay? So HDMI doesn't actually have a lock-in system like the DVI does. You can On the DVI, you've got little, little two screws. So it doesn't have a lock-in system. But what it does have is more support because it, it, as well as video, it can also support audio, which DVI can't. DVI just carries video. It does not carry audio. Now, as well as carrying audio, the HDMI cable, it carries multi-channel audio, so a lot of different channels. It also supports a greater color depth, a lot better color depth, and a lot more video formats, and HDMI 1.4 supports 4K at 30 hertz. It also supports ethernet data and stereoscopic footage, you know, that 3D footage. So that's, that's a big jump. Um, then you've got 2.0, HDMI 2.0. Now that supports 4K at now 60 hertz, and it also supports aspect ratios of 21 by nine, which again was is a lot better than the original HDMI 1.4. So, hopefully that's kind of summarised differences between DVI and HDMI, so digital video interface and high definition multimedia interface. Okay, so hopefully that's covered them. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them below. But yeah, cheers for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.